I've tweeted as W E N O T N O, or you might find it in the Guardian. A link, a link to the Guardian. This is on Monday. The keywords are bodyguard, police, fighting, urinating seats, ugly, new side of theatre audiences. If you type all of that in and, and the Guardian, you'll, you'll probably find it. It was on was on Monday, and it's continuing on this terrible story about. Um, it seems to happen with with it seems to have started with what they call jukebox musicals, and the audience has forgotten theatre decorum and behaviour during the lockdown, and they expect they want they want to sing along and possibly dance, and uh, it's all a big problem, and in this story there's a there's a report from the U, the the trade union for theatre staff who who have to cope with all these dreadful situations but it's also bringing it into comedy um because comedy audiences are very badly behaved as well apparently and i'm very interested in this because I've started to uh, look at the, the uh, I'm pretty sure it's called, called the Lowlands Music Awards Ceremony event. It's going to be in September anyway, in, in Edinburgh at the Biscuit Factory. And that's sort of after most of the theatre and fringe events will have, will have finished, I think. Not not sure exactly how those how those dates work, but um, that event is is in some ways a, a follow on from the Southwest Music Awards, which were an extra a little while ago, and I I found that was a very interesting event, and what I'm, what I'm trying to explore is how uh, drama, which might mean theatre or fringe events of some kind which would it probably includes comedy but it's the it's the drama bit that i think hasn't got um a working method of finding sound clips or video clips that uh, promote live performance in the same way that, that musicians are able to do um i'm i'm thinking of ra radio and social media as as very very similar they they both seem to depend on bits of bits of content that can be mixed up or commented on or linked to something else and so forth um but there's there's a there's a point of view about live performance that it, it's a it's a unique experience which has to be in front of a live audience and the 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 the, the educated theater audience uh, goes from one production to another, and they le they learn about what's available only through um, previous performances, so something like that. And and the I think the other thing is that the the proscenium arch is sort of there, even even in spaces where that where there, there is no safety curtain or um, there's the the. the there's no expectation of in, of of sort of read write that the 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 web now assumes and is part of social media. Um, I, w I went to B Beyond Face, big, bigger than lyrics, and the, there was a a discussion section at the end, but all the, all the questions came through a specific person, a host presenter, who. Uh, Presumably asked the same questions they'd asked at the, an, uh, an earlier performance the same day. There, there was a, there was a shout from the audience: "Do we get to ask a question?" But there wasn't there wasn't an answer to that. And I I I think there's there's something um, because also that 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 production mentions uh, songs from uh, Nina Simone and. Other other performers, but so I was able to play some of that as part of this this show, sort of a phonic drama show. So that's all possible, but there weren't there weren't any sound clips um, 
that were working as social media or, or could have been used on radio. Maybe there will be later. It's an early stage of the production, but I would, I would, I would think it's that it's that sort of possibility which needs to be looked at. And comedy is somewhere in between. It's somewhere in between music and drama in the way it works because uh, the, there's there's a, a lot of comedians who who have put shows together based on short sketches um, or developments of that. If they've, got, if they've got characters, they can put them into a longer situation or, or find some, some kind of sequence. Um, but the, the shorter ones can work on, on, say, YouTube or as bits of sound and get mixed up with, with other, other things. Um, but this this article is is um, not encouraging any anything like that. Um, it's it's uh, quite the quite the opposite. Um, part of the issue could be a mismatch in expectations. Some people arrive at musicals expecting to sing and dance, and then. Many comedians say a rise in viral clips of performers interacting with hecklers has led to skewed views of what a comedy comedy night involves. Uh, and then there's a quote from Cat McGregor, who is from uh, I found I found the Stand Comedy Club on Twitter, so I might, I might try and find out a bit more about this. I think that they've got um, clubs in Edinburgh. Newcastle and uh, Glasgow, so that, that they would they would be very relevant to, to uh, what happens in in September as a as a discussion anyway. Um, but they he, he says uh, we get a couple of customers most nights who have this misconception that a comedy show is about heckling the act. You're disrupting the show for everybody else. It ruins the act's flow. We try to stamp it out. Uh, there are some punters who want to get roasted by comics. There's no accounting for them. Well, um, see, I don't think Ma Ma Max Starr, who is he's, he's now booked for the Lowlands uh, Music Awards. Uh, I don't. Th I've, I have heard some of his act. I don't think any of it I can play on the radio. Um, but this this discussion around what might or might not happen um, does fit in with the drama show. I think I can sort of speculate on the radio and play comments if anybody wants to send in some. But if if um if a comedian is challenging social conventions um, it's re I think it's reasonable for some of the audience to, to have a different perspective and want to express it in some way and if you if you are planning to heckle a comedian why not bring your own lighting crew because other otherwise it's going to be it's going to be very dark if you try to record that on a video camera I think I think it's quite right that, uh, and another point there was a problem with the audience wanting to live stream the whole event. I don't, I don't think that should be done without any sort of discussion with the management. So I'll, I'll, I will be asking the, the organisers of, of the Music Awards what their policy is. Because some... I mean, the, obviously the, the main concern is going to be the, the, the music bands, I would think. Some of them welcome fan video and some of them don't, um, but if if the audience are, are doing their own show based on um, heckling, um, I don't I don't know I, d I don't know how this is all going to work out. How am I doing for time? I'm nearly going. I'm nearly running out of time. Um,